Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how we can show and hide an HTML element using JavaScript. In this video, you'll need an image to work with. Once you find your image, add it to your website folder. Then we are ready to begin. We're going to create a button and an image element. Let's start with the button. The text on the button will be initially hide to hide an element. I will give this button a unique ID of my button. I'll add a break, then we'll create an image element. This is a self-closing tag. With this image, I will set the source equal to either the relative file path or the file name. So my file is car.jpg. It's a little too big. I'll set the width attribute to be like 400 pixels. That's a decent size. I will give this image a unique ID of my image, my IMG. And just so we can see this button, I'm going to apply a little bit of CSS to the button. Let's select the ID of my button, take the font size. I will set it to be 2REM. That's decent enough. All right, let's go to our JavaScript file. I'm gonna create a reference to my button and my image. Let's start with the button. Const my button equals document dot get element by ID. The ID that I'm selecting is my button. Let's create a reference to my image as well. My IMG. The ID was my IMG. When I click on this button, I would like to do something. We will take my button and add an event listener. Add event listener. There are two arguments, an event type and a callback to a function. The event type is going to be click. When we click on the button, we're going to do something. For the callback, we'll write a narrow function. We are provided with an event parameter by the web browser, arrow, do this. When we click on the button, what code do we want to perform? We're going to take my image, access its style, access its display property, set it to be a string of none. So when you click on the button, it's going to hide the image. The display property is set to none. Not only that, let's change the text on the button after we hide the element. Let's take my button, change the text content equal to be show, because now I want to show the element. So hide becomes show. When we click on the button a second time, nothing happens. We would like to toggle between hiding and displaying this element. We'll write an if statement. Let's check to see if the display of my image is strictly equal to none. Is the display of my image currently none? If so, we're going to set the display to block because it's a block level element. Take my image, access its style, access its display property, set it to be block. Then within an else statement, place these two lines of code. And we will change the text content of my button to be hide. Now when clicking the button, we can toggle between hiding and showing this element, the image. Now let me demonstrate something. If we were to take my button, then add it after the image, here's what would happen. Let me add a break too. So by setting the display to none, we don't reserve any space for that image. My button moves up near the top of the window until I show it again. Another option, if we would like to reserve some space for the image, is to toggle the visibility, not the display property. Replace display with visibility. We're going to check if the visibility is hidden. Set the visibility equal to be hidden. If we would like to show the image, the visibility is going to be set to visible. When we toggle the visibility of this image, we at least reserve the space for it. The elements that come after aren't going to shift near the top of the window. 
You can use visibility or display depending on the project you're creating. All right, everybody, so that is how to show and hide HTML elements using JavaScript.